loving this song, by the way. Y'all can't get used to it. this song so much. If you've got Jadzia questions, I can answer them. Jadzia's a good officer. Not amazing, but good. Solid. So what it is, Wolfwood, is I'm actually uh, sending out the alerts and everything, and I have yet to put on my stream is about to start in graphics. I just threw a picture up there. don't want to turn the song down like i legitimately enjoy that song but i'll turn it down because y'all want to see rev apparently there's a little bit of a glare on the glasses i don't really need them but i've been trying to adjust the lighting a little bit trying to make it a little bit warmer and pick up on my face more focus on me camera right here see this beautiful bag is under my eyes because i don't sleep yes oh man there's sometimes i wish it was socially acceptable for men to wear makeup because do you ever get like just as a guy pretty the males out there you ever get annoyed by like features on your face? I do. I do. And you know what? I got no shame in saying it. I get, I get tired of the bags under my eyes and stuff. Oh, how's everybody doing on this beautiful Wednesday? Jocelyn, funny enough, so I actually left theater to play football because I couldn't do both. So I left theater to go play football. But when I was in theater, makeup was something that we did pretty regularly. Obviously with the lighting and everything, so... Um, I miss it though. Use cucumber under the eyes. I have heard that. But before we get into beauty tips, let's go ahead and jump into uh, our Star Trek Fleek of Man. Because I know this is what everybody really wants. They don't want beauty tips with Rev. They want Star Trek with Rev. Today I plan on doing some Borg on stream, answering y'all's questions, trying to help y'all out as much as I can, and wiping my desk because that's just how my brain works. I ended up doing like eight things at once. Good to see everybody. Server 92. Hey, we love Server 92. I'm on server 92. I haven't logged in in three days. I've been doing all this to move to the new setup and I haven't logged in in three days, which really sucks, but I will be logging back in soon. So, Hank's Corner, thank you for gifting out a membership. You gave it to uh, Falcon, who's one of the moderators. So thank you. Thank you. Shout out to server 121. It's weird to hear you say my name, Fighty Girl. Well, I mean, I can't help it, Jocelyn, that you brought in your legal government name into the stream. That's what you brought. So... You bring your government name, I'm gonna say your government name. Drink your Romulan wine. I, I mean, no. Do y'all want me to drink my Romulan wine? Are y'all saying that y'all, for those that don't know, they aren't being like um, silly. I actually, have uh, have the YouTube audience seen my canard? I have canard. Do y'all wanna see my canard? I can't crack it open on YouTube. YouTube is very specific about what happens. It, but YouTube audiences is very rarely the Twitch audience. Y'all might not know that I actually collect Star Trek stuff. You know what? One second. I'm going to show the YouTube audience. We're waiting for everybody to get in. Because I'm sure we're going to have a lot of repeat uh, questions. All right, so just as we wait for everybody to get in here, um, 
No, I mean, I legit collect stuff. And For example, I do have a bottle of Kanar here. Yes, this is a bottle of Kanar. I am fascinated. I, I really do like it. I'm saying I want you to drink your Romulan wine on Twitch Friday night because we haven't had drunken Rev in a long time. I mean, I don't drink. One of the things about me, and I've actually had people like, you should drink less. You sound like a crazy person. You sound awful. You should be a better human. I drink like two times a year. <laughs> and they're usually on stream. <laughs> but um, this is a bottle of Cardassian Canard. This is a bottle of Cardassian Canard, which is freaking awesome. Like just the bottle alone is really, really cool. Really, really cool. Then... I have a bottle of Klingon blood wine. <coughs> this is a uh, Cabernet Sauvignon from California, but it's a Klingon blood wine. And I also have a Romulan rye. Look at this beautiful blue. There's also a vodka one that I'd like to pick up, but this is the bottle. This is the bottle from Star Trek. What was it? Uh, was it Wrath of Khan when Bones gave it to um, Kirk? So those are the ones that I have so far. There are others to collect, but I thought it was Wrath of Khan Wolfwood. He gave him the glasses and the uh, Romulan ale. So uh, there's still so many that I want to collect from that set, but as y'all can imagine, it's a little bit pricey. So they did have it at the dinner at Undiscovered Country. So there you go. There's a little bit of Rev nerding out. Believe it or not, Rev is a Star Trek nerd. Can't be said for everybody at Scopely, but it can be said for everybody on this channel. So I've got those three. And uh, since I actually have two of these, I actually have two of these. Because I have two of these, I did promise my uh, audience on Twitch that we would drink one on Twitch. I've done that once before and things got a little wild. <laughs> Because it is an entire thing of wine. But, um, yeah. I have to do that pretty soon. Thank you, um, whoever signed to be a cadet. It says message retracted, so I don't know who it was. But who you guys for incursions? We're getting server 26 on this server. And my server 92 account is too new, so it's not going against anybody. But, yeah, server 26. Shout out to them. That's who we're going against. Uh, I got Strangely World on underneath. Let me get group and see if I get any other below deck officers I can grab. Oh, yeah, get badgy up here. Get us some badgy love on here. And do we have anybody else from our below decks crew? I guess we could do Strangely World Hammer just for the um, the bonuses there, right there. Doesn't really need it, but it'll help with the mitigation, which I'm pretty sure is going to be maxed out anyway. So this is... Um, I did not show this one. Uh, I did not show, no, it's not DJ's. DJ is 16, not 26. Uh, I did not show this one in the video yesterday for a reason. The reason I didn't show this in the video, the crew that I'm about to run, honest answer, most players don't have four and it was more geared towards players who either just max their Vidar or were maxing their Vidar. And I tried to talk about that a little bit in the comments section, left that out because, you know, there's, Potentially more things being added to the board. We'll see how that goes. And Dinez, hope you have a great time at work. So because of that, I, I did leave that one out. And everybody was like, well, why would you do that? Well, I mean, there was a logic to why I did it. But I, I left that one out. But the other ones still work great and will fill up your cargo. So truck in Kaylee and Gradum Kate and Shinjo. Yeah, there are a lot of people on 26 that I'm, uh, I know pretty well. So... Before you go, remember, we got to set our exocomp. We got to set our exocomp. And my epic one is here 10 minutes. So what I tend to want to recommend doing is because my flight time is three. What you kind of want to do in this instance is go get your discovery crew. So what I'm going to do here is go into officers. Well, I do have my discovery crew set as one of my presets, confirm. And then I'm gonna disco as close as possible to try to take advantage of that. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go here and get about an extra two minutes worth. 
Now, um, stream sniping is a worry, Hugo. If it happens, it happens. There's nothing I can really do about it. But, Ordrin, I use presets because people bug me about presets. People bug me about presets. Do I really need an EXO? Yes. Because I just made my Vidar cargo 800,000. And, yes, 826,000. I think I'd, I'll actually be able to use about 800,000 of that because of Strange World Laon displaying incorrectly, but she does work. It's really hard to get people to understand that just because it's a visual problem that you can see while also still working. Really weird. So, got my presets set to the bold defense crew. See, I don't even use bold defense. My bold defense is called a shield. But we do need to upgrade or update the bold defense video. What are your thoughts on the treasury this month? I think the treasury is a great value this month. Will I get it? Probably not. As y'all can see, I'm preparing for taxes and everything. So my money is going to be very tight for the next couple months. Y'all do not want to help out with that or y'all want to buy me a pack. There's the donate links. If you, there are sometimes people who want to buy rev a pack. That's $110 and like 13 cents for me for taxes and everything. So. New house feel like home new house is feeling like work because my office is in the new house and it's constantly needing things which is not a bad thing but there's definitely i would say from my experience so far you're probably spending the first year of living in a new house adjusting to the new house charles says i got my free to ceiling rod this month if you need a ship pack that's tritanium based this is a fantastic month and depending on where you're at with the officer sourcing like jedzia dax will you and Una, so this would give me Una, and this would almost, or this would actually give me Dax and Una. So I would actually get both of those officers if I got the treasure. So I think it's a really good value, but again, that value is going to vary based on what you need at the time. And let me go ahead and pull this here, and then we're going to the summon, and then we'll just come down here. Shouldn't take your butt three minutes to get there. There we go. I was, huh. Stream notification crashed my game as I was hoping to add a third ship. Yo, don't blame my stream notification for your PC crash. Don't even. Don't even. So we're coming here with this crew. We're just going to start hitting as many as we can hit. Are you procuring the Vidar XO? You get the XOs through... Eric, remind me after I get done with this run, I'll show you where they get. You get them through the Armadas. I don't want to show you while I'm trying to use it because they have such a short timer. But yes, you do get them through the Armada loop, the Borg Armada loop. I have a bunch of them from the Borg Armada loop. Hmm. What crew you recommend if you ever heard Gab uh, Gabi, did you see my video yesterday? I would encourage you to check out the video yesterday if you're looking for crews for your Vidar. I did a whole slew of them based on officers you may or may not have. I'm lucky current amount of broken keys, 3920, and I'll be able to get additional 360 from the heroic overflow. Very nice. I am a long way from a free treasury because I usually just don't complete that stuff. I, I really should. It'd make me a better player, but I never do. On level 39 and saving all Borg Armadas when I go to 40. That would be why you haven't seen the EXO, which is also why the grind probably feels awful for you right now. Now, to show off what the devs want you to see, this is not me doing what the devs want to do. But look at my Vidar cargo. Uh, I'm already at 167,000. This gives me four, so I'm at 167. Let's see what we get when we hit this. We're going to go from 167. We would normally go to 171, but instead, we're going to go to... Um... We went to 200,000. So I got 33K there. And that's with the epic exocomp as well as 5 of 11's loot ability. So you can see the exocomp's having value there. We're, we're really filling up cargo really quickly, getting about 30,000 per hit at the moment. Now, again, this is not me like changing my stance and feeling like later on, like, oh, well, this is actually good. I do still strongly dislike the time and the amount of grind because I, even with 800 cargo i'm still gonna have to come back i have to get a million cargo a day and there's no way around that for me so unless i maxed out stan and i maxed out four of 11 and i could have over a million cargo on a vadar even then i would still gripe and complain about it so that's kind of where i'm at right now 
but um you can see the exo comps do work to add value the rares and the uncommons are the easiest ones to obviously procure but um yeah be able to stack the blue one and the purple you should be able to hugo i've not tried it i don't have another epic to try with that and one thing about these exo comps is you do need to be in dock for them to activate and count so i can't really test that one today that would have been a good thing but you should be able to sit eh, you should be able to stack them yes like if you had a rare and an uncommon you could stack those together using your multi-purpose exo uh, comp slot and your primary exo comp slot Blue and green stacks, I would think blue and purple would. The, <clears throat> the way that the exocomp system is set up, any exocomp will stack as long as you are not trying to stack the same exocomp. Like if you had a 125% armada bonus and another 125% armada bonus, you can't activate both of them. You can only activate one, but you can stack bonuses as long as they are different. As long as they are different. Good to see you, Rob, on server 132. How are you doing? And getting about 30k a pull here it does lower the time a little bit it's still a, a you know a pain in the butt are you gonna head the curve for inert nanos with two trans cells a day exactly yeah so like even with me running this run with this is a maximum crew maximum loot run which i'm going to do fine i still have to do two probes and my overflow will be if i need a million a day i'm going to end up with about 600,000 extra so I would still need to grind for several days before I had it just um, a freebie day. And I think you need way more. It's also why I'm advocating pulling the token away. That way I could just come here, do this, collect several million in one day, and then not worry about it throughout the rest of the week. What's up, Lucian? Have you claimed the free chest? Yes. I claimed the free chest for the regular Borg Modest. When is Alliance Exocomps up here? Ryan, upper 40s. The Alliance Exocomp started appearing in the upper 40s. Now, anybody in the Alliance can take advantage of them, but that's when they start appearing. Next auction is going to be so high with everyone getting the treasury free this month. Well, this is not the first month of free treasury, so it started to get a little bit of variance in it, but I only got fifth place in my Hue auction. I was really hoping to unlock Hue, but it looks like I'm going to fall short of getting Hue. I want to make the video because Hue... Is a really good officer, uh, particularly for heavy hitter, that event that has been coming around pretty regularly. But maybe if they introduce a Dar A like ship, they can mitigate the problem. Maybe. We'll just have to wait and let's see. We'll have to wait and let's see. And Wardog, I don't. My other Vidar is tier three, and I'm not leveling up my other Vidar for this one. That's it's not worth it. It's not worth it. So. Yeah, would that technically lower the time? Sure. But is it worth it? No. In my opinion, it's not. All right, let me uh, crash into this one. We're almost to our max cargo, and we'll recall. I won't build a max second Vidar because I would need to spend so many Borg mats on that. I would miss out on a ton of faction credits. Bingo. Independent credits and faction credits are the most valuable part of the Borg loop. That hasn't changed with the update. That is still the most important part of your Borg loop. All right, I think I have maxed out. I'm pretty sure I can't get any higher thanks to the Strange New World Lawns. Display bug, but 800,000 is a pretty good amount. And let's recall. Oh my God, we're gonna get a ton of um, treasury questions. The treasury is always, 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 always worth it because the treasury is 150% of a $100 pack. It is always worth it. It just might not be worth it to you. You have to determine whether the treasury is providing materials that you want to spend on. But the treasury is always worth it in terms of the value in the treasury is always higher than a regular pack. But do you need it? Like for me personally, I need a Tritanium pack. I need two of the officers. And I really, really want as a player in the 40s, the packs that include ship parts. So that's why I really 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 like this treasury but not everybody's gonna like that some people want dilithium somebody some people want a star base based one it's it depends it depends aren't there level 35 borg systems nope there are no level 35 systems with probes there are no level 35 systems with probes i should buy your treasury next time feel free ryan the donate links are are available 
But as you get into the 40s, and some of y'all are newer to the 40s, you'll learn the biggest bottleneck in the 40s is not uncommons, but in fact, ship parts. That doesn't mean that uncommons aren't a bottleneck, but the biggest bottleneck is ship parts. That's where the real bottleneck is. So by the time we get home, this will evaporate. But what I can do is I can uh, uh, turn on the rare, which I have six, and the uncommon, combine those together, and we can run it that way. Par steel is a real big issue in the 50s. I wouldn't say par steel is a huge issue in the 40s. I got plenty of par steel. Like I, I never run low on par steel. I also raid a little bit. If you use Picaro full synergy in Solar Armada, does that ability apply to all officers in Solar Armada? No, it only applies to that particular ship. Like if you're running the Picard Beverly combination for Picard's captain's maneuver, it only applies to officers on the ship that you're using. I'm not sure you'll ever get a treasury with ship ships in it, but yeah. Trading broken rods last month, not knowing that the fixed rod expires. Support ultimately refunded them to me for this time only. Yeah, KBA, all I can do is tell people that all the time. Yeah, you know, I repeat it very often in streams. If you were Redeem a desealing rod. You have to use it. You don't get to keep it. It does not roll over to the next month. So if you redeem a rod, spend it. <clears throat> if you redeem a rod, spend it. Shane, my uh, cargo is so high because I'm using cargo officer. Like I'm running 5-4 Ston. I didn't include that in yesterday's video because not a lot of players have that available to them. It was more of just a, here's how to go after your um, forms. <laughs> Being in the mid 40s, I have a butt ton of research and I'm able to do that and it works out just fine for me. Would not necessarily work out that fine for everybody else. Actually, let me check my um Yo, War Dog. Dude, thank you. I appreciate that. And apparently it has. Apparently it has. All right, I do still need to pull on common parts for this uh Defiant. Oh, the Defiant Ground. I will say my tier six Defiant feels so nice about two four ston i'd rather go i mean you could do two four ston i'd rather do five just because i'm trying to make this process be as short as possible and the increase with two is negligible but yeah sure sure you have both fleet admiral spock and fleet admiral i do not have captain spock and fleet admiral kirk no i'm slowly working on unlocking spock i think i'm at like 20 shards of spock but it's all based on the RNG of pulling him here and uh, hasn't been hasn't been super kind to me on those pulls. So I haven't been getting him. Is the away team stuff two levels below? So 44 for the rares. It, it depends on ships and rep. Hell, hellbot. Ships and, and level and rep. Level and rep. Provedar cargo is over 700,000. Not all protected without using any cargo officers. Blair, that's, there's going to be a lot of research in that then. Hmm. So again, when I made yesterday's video, it was mostly directed at newer players and players who are just getting into maybe the 40s. So, yeah, Shiny, I'm always going to push a bonus refinery. I'm happy to do that. It's, it's like been one of my things for a long time. And shout out to uh, Eco and Beck for taking up that banner with me and being willing to um, push that as well. Multi-purpose exocomp. Scroll, scroll, scroll. And Bedar. All right, now we can take advantage of Bopo. And summon. And right back in we go. I use Pike, Lawn, Uhura, and my Vidar cargo is like 875. I uh, only do one full run and can collect two full charge, three pull active, Indy, etc. Cool. Cool. I have three tier nine Vidars. Jesus. James, why did you max it? You must have just got bored after you had maxed one and there was nothing to do in Borgs. So you just kept maxing. Orb fragments in the officer's tab. Is there a way to obtain fragments anymore? Only by purchasing them, Sam. They are in one of the packs that's available right now. If you wanted to purchase them, you can. So... See, real quick, we're getting 23, almost 24,000 per hit now. So this does show that both those exocomps are stacking correctly. 
But um, yeah, it's that. Yeah. Anyway, there's a pack out. That's the only way to get them. There's not going to be a free to play way to get orbs, and there's not going to be a free to play way to get cyber luck tokens. A Max Cargo can almost get a 1 million Vidar, can actually fill it with Exos. That's nice. There's also, remember, there's that Prime Vidar Cargo as well, which I have not done. I could do. Like, I've got the materials for it, but I haven't dived into that and done it. So, hey, Pegasus, how you doing, buddy? I've not done it. Doesn't mean I shouldn't do it or can't do it, but I haven't. So, we'll, um, we'll see where I end up going with that. I haven't decided if I'm going to dump into that. Obviously, if I did that, I would probably be close to um, maybe over a million based on the crew that I'm running. Let's see, go to our Starships tree. What is the bonus for it? 100%. I might hit over a million with that. I might hit over a million with it. So. Any news on that DS9 mission is the holodeck? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Level 38, when is the treasury level up next? Increase in value. What do you mean, Darren? I mean, the, the treasury levels up every level. But are you asking when the pack value levels up? Because one, I don't know what your spending is like. And two, typically every two levels in the 30s. Why does Starfleet only have one battleship? It has multiple battleships in this game. You've got the Intrepid. You've got the Newton. You've got the uh, Crozier. Every range, like three star, four star, five star, has a Federation battleship. Now, I'm a long way from the Newton, but let's see. Battleship. Yeah, I'm 10 out of 350 on the Newton, but you're a level 46 rare Federation battleship. Enterprise definitely looks more like a battleship than that, though. The Enterprise D. How much do you typically pull to a bulge refinery? I pull as much as I can pull. I go for the maximum option. I go for the max option during a bulge refinery. Any idea why I was 14 to 29, got command center parts, but 30 plus got matrix diodes and VP tier 14. Simply because uh, at that level, they are not going to be able to do like this month's missions. So. They have basically started using the battle pass to give the diodes needed to start sourcing story missions throughout the month. And if you're like level 14, well, you can't, you're not going to get any of the missions. So they're just going to give you ability to upgrade that building. And no, the defiance uh, ability does not work for Borg Solar Armadas for increased loot. That is specifically for a loot called Edicts, which is only part of the Dominion loot. It's only part of the Dominion loot. You're welcome. Happy to. Were there more missions though? I sell uh, new diodes. Yeah, I mean there was um, what thirty missions like total. It was like five different sets, and some of them were like for forty plus. I think there was one side set for fifty plus. Most of them were based in the thirties, and then there was like one optional one for level twenty five plus. So, yeah, there were several different mission sets this month. And if you can't use the diodes, then save those jokers and spend them on missions you want to spend on in the holodeck. Well, for I understand what they're saying. Which five-star ships would you recommend? Honestly, does not matter, Slugger. Doesn't matter. You get into five-star, what ship you're in no longer matters. The crews and the research are all that matters now. Then it's really just picking what you think is prettiest and which is most fun. Is it? Must have missed emissions months and months ago because I have been ahead of the diodes for a while. That's likely what it is, Hellbot, or there were missions that you got diodes for where they're making level 50 plus missions that obviously you're not going to see available to you, so you end up just saving those diodes. No, so Wolfwood, you, um, they've been doing diodes for a while. Doing diodes for a while. They'll be running another SLB for Hugh, not to my knowledge. 
five star uncommon abilities are very different i wonder if it made a difference so like the rares in five star are all designed around hostile grinding you know the the, the ship abilities do matter but i don't really feel like they tip the scale like it really comes down to the officers in your research more than anything Kevin, uh, we don't always get them where we can archive them. No, that has happened a couple months, but has been a, um, as we consistently gripe about standards and consistency, that is not a standard. That is not every month that you're getting the missions to archive them. Sometimes you do it. It depends on the arc runner. Sometimes you don't. All we do is ask them for please remove the two the extreme Photoshop piece of equipment from off the screen. I have no idea what you're talking about, Elite Goods. No idea what you're talking about. Tech announced a new recruit officer SLB. I don't even know what that is. I haven't actually talked to them yesterday about that, so I have no idea what that is. I have to go look. I'm sure it's going to be like. The previous XLB or the previous SLB that was a midweek one was um, probably when they did Cork and was it Cork and um, Cisco? Hmm. Treasury is crap for free to play. Strong disagree on that one. Strong disagree. Very very big disagree. Very, very big disagree on that. And I agree, Steven. One of the biggest pieces of feedback I've been giving repeatedly over the past few um, days is the grind for Borg is simply too much. Do I have extra diodes? I do. Be glad you got too many diodes now. Next month, you don't have to wait for the battle pass to start the new missions. This is true. You don't have to wait. You can jump straight into just whatever missions are available. Mantis and Borg Ground takes hours. Well, it shouldn't take hours, Eric, but it does take time. I mean, I've been streaming for 30 minutes and I am now done with my Borg and it took about 20 minutes, even with the, exo, even with the exocons, 15, 20 minutes. So, so many needs for Defiant Boost and Cerritos Boost. Can we talk to game design about increasing caps? Sure, Graduated. Am I going to do it right now? No. I, I, I've told y'all, I'm not your... I'm not going to take everything y'all ask for the dev team. Yes, we have meetings and I do bring up stuff like that. Base channel blocked us for asking. I have no idea what you're talking about, Elite Goods. No idea what you're talking about. No clue. All right, so we finished that. Now, since you mentioned Mantis, I'm actually going to go do Mantis. But, uh... Once we get home, I actually can already do it. I can do my Borg pull of 1 million yummy, yummy inerts. There we go. Hey, what's up, Jurassic? When it comes to the Borg grind, having Galinar below decks makes a difference. Yeah, I didn't even think about using Galinar. <sighs> you shouldn't have to, and maybe this is just me. Maybe I'm becoming an old fuddy-duddy. You should not have to be crazy and like micromanage your crews to such a ridiculous degree to get some semblance of efficiency. Shouldn't have to do that. In my opinion. Shouldn't have to do that. It's an optimal level to tier the Mantis 2. Uh, mine's at tier 5, and I don't really see a point taking it any higher. I'd have to go look at the chart. There was a chart that we used. that um, Because it does get more expensive as you leveled up. Real quick, by the way, somebody was asking about where you get the exo comps. Here is my rare. I'm sorry, my uncommon pull. I'm actually going to do a full uncommon. I'm going to do a double uncommon pull. And let's see the officers I get. And then I'm going to get two of the loots. I got three, two of 11, six, one of 11, three and six. And then my directives. And let's go pull the rare. You have enough to do one rare pull. I'm very close to doing... I'm really honestly tempted to just go run a rare so that I can actually pull this twice. Actually, I think I will do that. I think I'll go run a rare. So let's um, swap this. We don't need these. Go away. 
Go away! Let me get the Enterprise out here. Sure you only get 200 directives in a rare pool. Which is why I try to multi-pull it. But I've, and if y'all been watching my videos, I can punch up. So I'm punching up going higher than the game would typically expect somebody of my level and tier to do. Which means I can generally afford to uh, get more goodies than the average person. Here, hey, where do I... Orca, I think is who I put here. Who do I put here? I remember my cruise real quick. Where is uh where's Lorca? We'll, we'll see how it looks after I get it all set up. Where are you at? There you go. I'm gonna set you there for now. I don't remember. Let's see. This is gonna be five six con. Are they going to change the city XP events for those of Max Syndicate? Probably not, Draco. That is a whale of a whale problem. That is a hell of a whale problem. There are so few people who have done that. They're not. I mean, you can ask, but hell, I'm not even the person to ask. You should ask the um, high-level community managers about that one. I don't... The Ark Runner hasn't mentioned anything, anything for that that I'm aware of. Any idea which region is first up in incursions? Nope. Uh, Beck said that she would look into it. It usually goes... Usually, when it first started, it was APAC uh, US EU, and then they swapped it to EU US APAC. I'm going to assume it's EU, US, APAC, but I don't know for sure. I do not know for sure. That there. And swap for the... Oh, Valdor is sitting over here. Let me swap this out. Dar. Tinga is sitting pretty, but with the wrong crew. And we'll group. Sheer, there's Cisco. Um, how do I want to do this? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Last night's implied EU US APAC was correct order. Okay, that makes sense. That's what it changed to. Originally, APAC got it first, so they could kind of work through bugs and problems. But they switch it to EU first, and I don't honestly think it matters. I'm sure it matters to somebody. Here we go, and I can't decide if I want to run Lorca on here or Cisco. Because the Enterprise is just not going to put out a lot of damage. The Enterprise just doesn't put out damage. But I do need to run Kirk. And I want to run loot, because I'm trying to really focus on loot here. The Enterprise is going to be essentially useless how it is right now. All right. Well, we're going to move Lorca over here. Yeah, we're going to move Lorca over here. Herper card, Beverly Bashir earlier got great crits. I mean, that can give you great crits, but these are, this is my weakest ship. I'm not really worried about giving it great crits. I'm more worried about it being a good support vessel. More worried about it supporting the Katinga and the Valdor. Good call. Well, frankly, PvP returning incursions. God, I hope not. I mean, we gave such negative feedback, and you know, I, I talked to the dev directly in charge of that when it happened. We gave such negative feedback. I really hope it doesn't result in that. On the way, way, on the way. Should I take Fleet Commander's box, Officer Health Boost, or Armor Piercing Boost? I would say Officer Health. Officer Health. I think Dax needs to be adjusted for lower Dax, otherwise worthless. I don't think Dax is worthless. I just think Dax is not as good in certain setups. I don't think Dax is worthless, though. I think Dax is very effective against a Dominion. She's just not effective against Borg based on the design, but... We think a strike team lawn pack oh there's a pack i didn't even look uh no <laughs> i mean at least it's got uncommons in it but 
Do I believe you should spend $400 for an officer? No. To possibly use Google Play point vouchers in the web store? No. That's for Google Play. The web store is not Google Play. That is excellent. No, I don't believe in spending $400 for an officer in Star Trek Fleet Command. I just don't. I'm sorry, Scopely. I'll never jump up and down for this. Be right back. As we wait for the wait times, y'all can enjoy a chair for a second. I will uh, go use the little boys' room and get another water because I've drank all my water. Also, you can put some Okay, how many people we lose? <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, see how our flight times are going now. I wonder do I have it too warm in here with the light? Like, I prefer the warm light over the cold for the video, but maybe it's too warm. I just don't like to wash myself out in the color so much. I wish they do a tier event, like a G2 ship PvP event. A single ship type means it's more about level, most of my crew, blah, blah, blah. They've done that before. That's what like the Rialta Brawl is and stuff. So there's always going to be somebody better, right? Also, Ordrin, thank you. I appreciate uh, you donating to this family and to the channel. Thank you. I'll put it up here on the list. Here, give me just a second. Thank you, Ordrin. Appreciate everybody who wants to help support the family. Um, fun. I know things like mortgages and stuff are not exciting. They got to get paid. And uh, my, my ability to work with the dev team and game design, etc., it's only because y'all support me. So big shout out to Origin. And I just updated the stream label. So thank you for that. But no, short answer, I'll never support spending $400 for an officer. I just won't. I just won't. I look too bright. Oh, well, that's, that's a lot better than it looked before. <laughs> you think the Newton is uh, more worth getting now that compared to the Pylum? Nope. I still pick pylon first. Firing pattern. Firing pattern. No good system where you get free tourist BPs. Literally any low level independent system. Go for it there. Nomad, thank you for that. If y'all do want to donate, here you go. Here's the links. I can spend $400 for one third of a tier on lawn. Yikes. 
Yeah. Start a new account. What server are you on? Curtis, I'm on server 92. Server 92. 92. But there's another new server about to launch. I think they're about to launch 94, 95. I think those are about to launch. Go check your blood sugar. My blood sugar's fine, Kana. Dude, that is incredibly personal and rude. Dude, I'm perfectly fine. Some people just drink and go to the bathroom. What an asshole. Anyway, level 17 server systems are pretty good. Any system that is going to focus on the lower levels, like low independent space, two star space, where are you going to get those BPs? So, if it with the treasury value, every single month the treasury is good. Every single month is good. There's not a month where the treasury value has been bad because of what the treasury is. By design, the treasury is a 150% of a $100 pack. It is always good. It just might not be the pack that you wanted. You know, uh, one time it was a, um, one time it was a pack that was station based and not everybody wanted that. So nobody, not everybody found value there. For me, I find value. Don't tell me you're going to try to launch this rare because I'm literally right here, Zach. See me. Go somewhere else. My rare. I want it. Use it, use this. Shame only gave 20 shards of three epics. Uh, you need, oh, in terms of the treasury. That's the thing. Like, you know, especially if you're free to play. If you are, um, if you are. 100% free to play, which means that your treasury is the $5 option. Getting that free treasury is still extremely valuable in months like today. Because you would have gotten $5 for 60 uh, epic officer shards. That is a ridiculously good return on your investment. Ridiculously good. So, that is ridiculously good. So, even for free to play, I find... The treasury is great value depending on the month. Now, some months don't have three epic officers in it, but man, there are some definitely some really good months and really good values out there for some. All right, let's um, launch this Borg Sphere. How much I got on my cooldown before I can launch again? One minute. Okay, we're good. So launch, launch, and launch. And then we need to make sure we juice the Katinga. Don't let me forget to juice the Katinga. Have you had a peak in the next month? Not telling you anything. No hints for you. I start hunting OPC Franklins and people really don't like it. They can really suck it up. That's what Rev would say. Hey, what's up, Thief? I miss you, man. You don't talk to me as much as you used to. I worry about do you even love me anymore? So. Love you, Thief. How come I'm not using Defiant Cerritos? Because it's the Borg. Why would I use this, uh, the Defiant in a Borg fight? In a Borg fight, you do not ever use a Defiant in a Borg Solar Armada. Now I am boosting with it. Never use it in a Borg Solar Armada, though. Strength does not matter, Sam. You should follow this channel enough to know that strength doesn't mean come diddly quat. We're not worried about strength. We're worried about stats. We're worried about officer abilities. We're worried about research because you can have 10 million and die and somebody could have 7 million and win based on crewing danny it should be pointed out that even though the defiant was designed to fight the borg it sucked at it the one time it happened it got his butt kicked so and easy peasy w um actually let's do this jump quick repair actually go grab another rare real quick while we still got our bonuses oh uh, that bonus is about to retire so come over here oh man you have to tell me about uh how it went deep very curious so you can juice that how much longer you have it's cutting it close but y'all both will still be juiced they will still be juiced 
She's got Una in the treasure event. How do I use her? Really don't. I mean, Una is only good for synergy with her speed. Other than that, I don't ever use Una. Like, I, I don't know anybody that uses Una. All right. Summon. Summon. And go ahead and launch. Join. Join. And we'll jump here in a second. This one, level 35, suggestions on what to do first. Research, um, start working on your Bajoran faction. That's a big deal. The Bajoran faction is one of the best things that the game's ever added, even if it is research. But that way you can start working for getting the Defiant. You want to get your Franklin A at 35. You want to get your Fisha at 35. Those are the top four things, working on research and those ships. Working on those is top priority. I didn't see Juice the Defiant. How does that work? What do you mean? If you click on the Defiant, it's got an ability marker right here on the, uh, right here. And then when the timer's down, I just click it and tell what chip I want to give the bonus to. So the Defiant's bonuses that it has in the research tree do apply, uh, but it's ship bonuses. Like if the bonuses it has against the Dominion does not work against the board. Yeah, no problem, Danny. But for those that don't know, there's a little button. That we used to. first contact the uses to find ran um basic power cells and quantum torpedoes on less than one minute till the enterprise e shows up even the defiant was in a running gunning battle the defiant was getting fight so. oh boy what else we got here in the questions and comments section I'm glad i remembered to juice and then enterprise go boom again Oh, Enterprise didn't go boom this time. Very nice. Very nice. We're focused on the Valdor, looks like. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and recall all these ships. And we will go do our Borg turn in. And let's see what we get with our double rare pull. I can afford a triple, but we're going to do a double. And our double pull gives us two Galinar, 11 1, 2 3, 400 Borg Epic, 7 2. And then the rare Fleet Commander credits, and then four of the Vidar uh, bonuses. So there we have it. We have, uh, we have appropriately run through our Borg for the day. It only took a solid 30 minutes. Yay! Now I need to pull this, and I've got to pull Cerritos Juice, because I have been really struggling. I've been using a lot of Urbanite lately with uh, these Armadas. So one of the reasons I didn't bring the Cerritos is... Can't afford to bring it right now. I gotta save up my juice again. I'm level 39. Uh, Augur and Enterprise is level 5, but I don't have the jellyfish. I go to 40. Nope. You should not. In my opinion, you should not. Is Dak worth using in solo without Bashir? Like, if I'm choosing between who to use, Dax or Bashir, I'm going to choose Bashir every time. But that doesn't mean that Dax doesn't have a place and she can't be useful. Depends on what in total crews you have. Have you heard any tentative timeline for G6? Nope. I have not, Draco. I know, I know that you're in a unique position. I don't want you to be bored, and I definitely feel for you, but I've not been told any type of timeline for G6. I would say that I feel it is soon, but I have no idea exactly when it's going to launch. Could be next month. Could be six months from now. I, honest to God, I don't know, man. And we can try to find out if you want. I can start probing people. Remind me in Discord. I know you used to hit me up on Discord all the time. Remind me in Discord, I can try to ask some of the uh, higher-ups that I know uh, if they are willing to just give a hint to some plans. But beyond that, I honestly don't know. So I do need to give a shout-out, though, to Hank's Corner. Hank, thank you for donating to my family. I appreciate this. I'm going to put up her on the screen. Thank you. Y'all going to see the bar move a little bit? Thank you for supporting me and my family. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. First time I jumped from 33 to 35, I've saved up loads. It was good, except I forgot to max the Franklin. Well, remember, you got to get it to tier 9, level 41. And another reason to go hunt OPC. Hunt those OPC Franklins and get what you need. Hunt the OPC Franklins and get what you need. That's what I would do. I know not everybody likes that strategy, but... Just do it until you don't need it anymore, and then no big deal. 
Gonna be a while before I get a Kelvin. Should I dump all four-star parts in the Defiant? Yes. Yes, the Defiant is more important long-term anyway than the Kelvin is. All right, in here, crappy bonus refinery pulls, but I'm gonna pull it anyway. Yeah, that's not great. Uh, how about this one? Oh, uh, meh, meh. And what about this one? Very trash. So, and we go to these bottom pulls and get basically better than the bonus refinery because the bonus refinery is still using the outdated old system. Oh well, free is free. I can't complain about free. Doing what I can, but the cost of tier eight Franklin pawns isn't cheap. It's not, Ian. Again, that's why I'm big on OPC hunting Franklin. That way you can catch up. And honestly, if there are a lot of people in your server with max Franklin, just ask somebody to fill up the cargo and let you come take it. There are several players who are, are kind and would probably let you do that. Would probably let you do that. What's your recommended crew for Enterprise and a Borg Armada? I mean, I just use it as a loot and support ship. So for me, I'm running Jordy, Lorca, Kirk. That's, that's all I'm doing. But if it's your primary, it depends on what ship is it for you. Like if it's a primary warship, then you could run something like Cisco, Miles, Kirk. You know, you could run several different iterations. It depends on where is it in your battle triangle. For me, pretty weak. Cisco 6 Con is still a good crew. I would never run 6 Cisco 6 Con. That is an awful combination. You are you are hamstringing one of your ships to run that. Don't do that. You do have mitigation, but here's crit. And then here's crit. Don't combine both of them. They're the exact same officer. Swap them up. Swap them up. What are some good rare Borg Armada crews? The same crews that we run in regular solos, Tommy. There's nothing specific. Same crews from Borg solos to Dominion solos. It all comes down to you doing the research in the research tree, which is directed at uh, faction ships. Essentially turns every faction ship into a um, Badar against Borg solos. The disruptor links you see i've done all the disruptor links except the iss jellyfish one so this is the key for borg solos you can run your regular crews you would run against the dominion solo but now you're focusing in on um those researches which really changed the game and then any boost you want to do with like the defiant obviously is going to help out do a video on crewing the mantis well i mean i think i did but I can remember, did I do one on Crew of the Mantis or not? I have to go back and check. But I mean, my Mantis crew is 5 4 Ston. 5 4 Ston. Does boost work on board probes as well? What boost, James? What boost? The uh, research boost? No, they do not. They are only for Solar Armadas. Only for Solar Armadas. Optionally not on the fence about whether I should level up. I have most abilities and research is completed. Chin Talon are at tier 4. Bordas and Vidar are tier 6. What do you recommend? i say you're probably ready. Uh, the Vidar needs to be the one that you're focusing on. So focus on getting that Vidar maxed and your Chin maxed as quickly as possible. Great. We say that the Borg grind is too much if there's no... What do we still say the Borg grind is too much if there's no Jim Adar? Yes. I would, John. I'm tired of additional 30-minute grinds in my game. I think that the base game being 30-minute grind is fine. Your base daily. I do not think that every other grind in the game needs to be 30 minutes. Yes, I would still complain. Even if the Borg was there and there was no acting and there was no uh, anything. You know what? I, I would just gripe. Yeah, I, I don't like it. I'm tired of their idea of fun being 30 minute grinding reds. That's not fun. I don't know anybody who thinks that's fun. You've got to find a way to do something fun in the game. That's just not fun. All right, so let me go find Stan real quick. Actually, let's just sort by health because he's a health officer. There he is.
get uh, our mantis out. Look at our pretty mantis, tier five. One of the same pitfalls that led to the downfall of World of Warcraft at its peak. Yeah, I mean, it's at some point you have to find a way to make fun content for players that doesn't require them to spend all day doing that content and ignore the content that they still have to do. Like you, you can't, it's, like, it's that old proverbial having your cake and eating it too type thing. You know, they're trying to, to do too much and they are trying to do things fun, but there's just too much. All right, there ain't nobody here, so let's go over here. I have to alter my cruise for Jim versus Borg? Shouldn't, Cindy. You should be using Lorca no matter what. Lorca is definitely a requirement on Borg solo models. If you want to punch up, you definitely want Lorca. Like, Lorca is actually more important on Borg solos than he is on Dominion solos. Well, and if you don't have Lorca, then Gorkon. Holbreach is more important for uh, Borg solos than Dominion solos. Both are very important. Has so many dailies to get done, it really let you not playing anymore. Wow, did I see? I've never played World of Warcraft, so I don't have much familiarity with it, but I've definitely heard that a lot. But burning Giorgio will also be helpful. Nope, would not, would not. Burning is almost never helpful unless an officer is using it. Burning as a background ability is not really helping anything, unless your goal is to like annoy a whale and burn their tribute. You know, it's to force a repair bill. It might seem like Scopely had taken some of the grind fun idea that I think is fun. It's not really fun for players from the early days, like year one Star Trek Online dev team. I have no idea about year one Star Trek Online dev team, so I can't really speak to any of that. We should turn the Cardassian Jemadar board exchange into three-day grinds. I've only done once every three days. I mean, the good thing about the Mantis grind, not the Mantis grind, the good thing about the Bajoran grind is you don't have to do it every day. You can pick and choose it because there's no token system, so you can just go in and save up things, do your grind, and then just come back and do it whenever you want to do it. I like that. I like that. I forgot to put uh, Lawn below decks here. So... But, you know, it's the, the big thing for me is the warp lock, but also the amount of grinding you have to do. I mean, they're essentially forcing you to do a triple pull, and that just takes so much time to do with the Borg. It's a lot. Borg tokens need to go. The overall price of running the Borg needs to be lowered. Lots of things need to be done to make that grind more palatable to the average player, and even older players who had gotten completely done doing Borg and weren't doing it anymore. You know, it's um I, like every day I wake up basically praying for the collective bargaining away team because that away team allowed me to um, at least get one day where I don't have to ground pull. So 50 50 coin flip that incursion is canceled postponed again. I have no idea, graduated. No clue. What is that Meridian ISO warping a lot? Are you asking where is it, Sam? one of the level locks that the game has put in for various ships where warp interlocks are like their locks. That's how they prevent people from uh, leveling up. My last collective bargaining was last week. So it doesn't come near as often as I would like it. I need more collective bargaining, please. Oh, all my PvP chests from incursions yesterday give me crap. Love that me blowing up you know, four-star ships gives me that terribleness it's fantastic game planning great game design y'all good job whoa got an idea on the extra diodes are for for missions that you can't see oh what's this region about every day for anybody that wants to get multiple meridians Sam 
I got one today, but even over 100%, it's paying like 350K red, not helping a ton if you only get two or three times a month. You mostly got the one day one. And I usually get the two day. So there's three versions of collective bargaining. There's a one day, a two day, and a three day. I usually get the two day or the three day. The one day definitely does pay out the least, obviously, and is the one that we want the least. All right, uh, there's Apex. What's the website that you shared in a video a long time ago where you can put in your ship you're using and what you're going against it comes up with food? No idea. No idea, Darren. No idea. Potentially uh, Stewie Doo's officer tool? A spreadsheet, maybe? Or is it a uh, John site? John Siskar? Could have been that one? I know a lot of tools. Um, no, it's not warping. It's literally right there. Stupid game and its bugginess. Here, Pam, which is the best? Which of the Kirk on duty is best? Impulse speed or warp speed? Impulse speed by a long shot. Impulse speed. Warn water. I'm pretty sure Spock's Club is not coming back. No, not anytime soon. There are a couple of variants being made right now, like other people trying to fill that gap. But yeah, I'm pretty sure there, there won't, Fox Phillips not coming back anytime soon. Oh, Ordrin, silly goose. You silly goose. I was thinking about that in my head. Like, as I said, I'm like, so, somebody's gonna take that. Somebody's gonna take that. Yeah, Spock Club didn't have a tool for you to put in ships and, and get crews. I'm thinking that that was either uh, John W. Siskar or Stewie's officer tool. It's one of those two. Went back to hiding missions from above your level. FCFC officer tool can help you with recommended crews. It can. Uh, Stewie do and lube. Uh, I put, have an amazing tool. I admit that I don't use it much because I just hate spreadsheets by nature. Like I just, I don't do spreadsheets, but it is a fantastic tool and it is extremely helpful. How do we get more Bashir shards? There's currently no sourcing for Bashir in the game. So, got any information about Spice Club? Has ever come back? We just answered that, Dennis. No, it's probably not. At least it is gone indefinitely. If it comes back, it comes back, but there are no plans, and I don't see that happening anytime soon. So. Syndicate event? I never even count syndicate events, man, because these are heroics. These are meant for spenders. Like, I'm never going to get that. I mean, I'm granted, I'm grinding my Mantis, and I'm going to turn that in, but I don't count that. That's literally a heroic spend event. I don't... That's not for us average folks. That's for people with the deep pockets. Because it's not an SMS. It's a heroic SMS. Everybody talking about it being sourcing. That's not sourcing. I, I do not count SLBs as sourcing. I do not count heroic SMSs as sourcing. Those are literally paid events. That's a paid event. So I don't ever count that. And that's just a me personal thing. Yeah, I, I collect all my stuff down here. I'm free to play and I should unlock third tier for syndicate. Born water, I don't care if you disagree. It is not a free to play event. Just because you are one individual person doesn't mean it's free to play sourcing. Cool, you hyper micromanaged everything that you can do in the game and got it. That's not sourcing. He does not have a permanent sourcing path in the game. Like I can't go to the you know 250,000 active players and tell y'all, 
Well, you can get Bashir if you just save everything you got for the right moment that may or may not come. That's, that's not what Rev's going to do. That's not going to do that. Hey, Falcon, thank you for dropping the donate link. I appreciate it. Is Bashir way still on the same ship as Cisco? Yes and no. I mean, I think depending on... Like, against the Borg, I think it's fine because the Borg are easy, honestly. Especially if you have Hull Breach. Hull Breach makes the Borg stupid weak. I would prefer on my Dominion solos to have Bashir and him separated. On the Borg, I don't really care either way. Just because the research with Hull Breach, as soon as you get critical going... I mean, y'all can come see some of these critical hits. Look, look at what the Katinga's doing. Let's find the Katinga. Valdor, Katinga, 26 million off the gate. There's the Valdor hitting it, but there's 20, 28 million. And then 25, 26, 25, 30. Wow, he actually got less criticals than expected. There's the 81 million. There we go. 38, 25, 29, 28, 29. There's the Valdor, 29, 29, 26. I mean, Valdor still gets some crits. 26, 26, 29. Let's see, 25, 29. Hey, Enterprise got a critical. Look at the Enterprise putting in some work. Hey, Enterprise, I see you, buddy. 74, so I mean, it's all about the hull breach and then taking advantage of the research so all right we made it home so let's do our pulls real quick i have not stung anybody i need to do that but let's pull this now let's go pull our syndicate xp pull and let's see where we're at because that is a what a yeah two-day event yeah i'm i'm sure now, we'll get some more by completing my daily with uh, the Bajoran one. Uphill training. I do have this as well. There's a new Borg research count towards the old Borg med cubes. Do not believe so, James, but I haven't tested it. I see no reason to go fool around with the old ones, but I have not tested it, so... And most regular players will complete the first one. Um, first one is reasonable, yes. Now, I've already done my syndicate pull for the day. And if I do my Mantis again tomorrow, I could actually, like, go a little heavy and do um, the second Mantis pull, the big one. I could probably definitely do it. But I'm not going to finish, right? So that's, that's why I hate talking about it as source. Like... Sure, if you get it and you take advantage of it, fantastic. But six and four is very mad because I need Odo. I don't have Odo, but this is literally spending three hundred dollars. And if you're gonna do it, go for it. If I'm sitting on a bunch of multi basics, is now a good time to turn them in? I mean, I would say right now, Mike. Yes, because Cynic is already important. So, like in general. I encourage people to dump multi-phasics into Syndicate. Because the higher this gets, the better you get as a player. Syndicate is extremely important. So in that instance, yeah, I would say definitely go for that. But right now is a good time to dump it in. A Fed rep went too high, and now I have to do four-star. I'm not ready for that. What's the solution? Go kill a lot of Feds to knock it down below. Oh, you can get it knocked down below 30 million. So... Just go hunt a lot of feds. Lots and lots of feds. Kill lots of fed traders. Be a fed trader by killing fed traders. There should be a guaranteed way to opt out of your starbase getting cracked other than staying. Uh, I disagree, Dustin. I disagree. I personally disagree. Um, This is maneuver five. Gotta upgrade that to upgrade this. This is annoying. Yeah. I uh, that's annoying. 
I hate when they'll have researches that are locked behind pointless research. When's the next Twitch? Tonight. We'll be streaming on Twitch again tonight. Here's the link for those that don't have it. There you go. All right, so I got I got a few different ones to catch up on, but I've been doing pretty good. My goal is to, with all my you know attack ships in, be right around 50 million power before I hit Ops 46. That's something I want to be. People actually attack star bases. They were talking about their personal star base Draco. They're talking about their personal star base. This one. Which I'm a firm believer in shield or share. Shield this bad boy or share all the loot. All right, let's, um, where are we at in terms of, okay. Let's, um, do assaults too, not as much. Yeah, I mean, uh, assaults is, our server, nobody's touched assaults since the assault events ended. I don't know anybody that has on my server. There might be a few people on a few different servers, so. We have a troll alliance coordinating an attack against theirs. So how the troll alliance manage that? I'm assuming they have a, their own baby. Their own baby starbase somewhere. My alliance only deploys their starbase to finish an upgrade. The scope hasn't turned off assaults. Well, that's the thing. Like, even if you leave your starbase open, I don't think anybody cares enough to even go after them anymore. Like... I'd have to go look at some starbase systems, but I'm pretty sure we have people that have starbases deployed and just nobody cares. Like it's just, it's a mechanic that nobody enjoys. So I actually need to swap this out. Put the jelly there. We're going to put you here. And, oh, wrong one. Health, is there a health officer available? Oh, we could throw Khan up here for now. Just because I don't feel like uh, swapping things around. We're going to go hunt in Seoul. But I'm going to just hit heavies. What are the smallest ships that could do an assault? Could three G4 rares pull it off? Maybe. Maybe. Why would you even want to, Charles? Like, honest to God, why would anybody want to do an assault? Like, sincerely, what... What would cause somebody to want to do an assault? Like, what is the whole purpose? Like, what's the point? Why would anybody want to do a star-based assault? Like, because it's not even griefing. Like, the resources you get don't matter. Like, that star-based resources don't matter. The plasma is trash. It's just... Like, I am... I am still very much in the camp of do not initiate this uh, mechanic. The more you use this mechanic, the more you're telling Scopely this is okay. Leave it, leave it how it is. The more people use assaults, the more Scopely's just going to be like, "Oh well, we're never going to fix this." So I don't touch them. I'm boycotting it as a feature. It's a trash feature. It did not provide anything in the game. It wasn't even well made. So even for poops and giggles, I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to go launch it. I've got tons of um, directives saved up. I've not launched them, and I won't launch them. Does still mean boycott the Galaxy Tree extension? At least the Galaxy Tree extension has a little bit more reason to do because they've done two economy updates since I complained about that. They gave permanent bonus refinery. And they improved the four-star drop rates in the refinery by 100%. So that has helped a little bit with the Galaxy Tree extension, but they've done nothing for assaults. They've done nothing for assaults. So. Oh, 
go rack up some expensive repair bills here since I'm not using my Gladius. I just didn't feel like putting the Gladius up and finding the crew. Just watch Tierra Enterprise with Kirk, Spock, Stein, die against a 45 Borg Solo. Well, bad crews will do it every time. Bad crews will do it to you every time. Can someone see or, or a group attracting player star bases can go heavy rogue on firing mining events? What kind of buffs were the ASB supposed to provide? I mean, you just got the research in the Starbase tree. You got the research in the Starbase tree. Real quick, I gave a shout out to uh, Erica. Erica, thank you for uh, supporting the um, house fund, the mortgage fund, that is. And I appreciate you. I've added it to the list. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Very kind of you. Why would you ever put Spock on the Enterprise? Because somebody doesn't watch Rev Deuce videos. Or they want to be on a Rev Deuce video. It may be they do it just because they want to be on a Rev Deuce video. they added plasma to mining Monday at an incredibly high multiplier that would get people to engage with it. But I don't want to engage with it. Why would you want to engage with it? There's nothing there. Like the point of something should not be engagement. The point of something should be fun. They're two very different things. The point should be fun. If it ain't fun, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't care how cool it is. If it ain't fun, I'm not doing it. Scope is big on give the new dynamic some time to see if you like it. Then we'll make adjustments later if necessary. Yeah, exactly, Sherlock. And I was kind of referencing that in my video here about forgotten, it was it two days ago, about territory, how it's just been forgotten. That is what they typically say in terms of feedback, and then they never come back and revisit. So... There are a couple of new game designers who are trying to break that mold, and I appreciate them. There are a couple of dev team who are definitely on board with how players feel and what the players are trying to do. But you can only wait and see how it goes. They're waiting on the improved ROI of Elite Faction recruit boxes. Oh, man, those were also terrible. Man, and I got so mad because the dev who I was talking to was so excited about it. It's like, yeah, y'all been asking for this. I can't wait for y'all to see it. I'm like, okay. That sounds pretty cool. Me and DJ were both excited. The, the dev really hyped me up on it. And then when it launched, I'm like, this is bullshit. I'm sorry. I'm not, I don't usually cuss like this. I usually save that for Twitch. This is bull honky. Absolutely worthless. I felt completely played. I felt very played. I just, and I have not, except for in an event, we got enough to pull them from an event. I have not pulled that pack. Not once. I did it one time because there was an event, but I've not actually invested my resources into that elite faction pool. It just, it, it's a waste of material. For so many new improved mechanics, scopely releases to meet player demands only to be token effort appearances, not substance. Yeah, there's also a lot of really cool things that they want to release that they end up not being able to because, you know, overlords and corporate cut costs and stuff like that. But the Amalgam Refinery, I've been pulling the Amalgam Refinery pretty damn religiously, I would say, since it came out. And I still can't buy a skin. The Amalgam's been out almost a year. And I've been pulling that thing consistently. And I still can't get a skin. Not a single skin. Let's see how many ship shard trackers I'm at. Amalgam, I'm at 3,564. And if I wanted to get the Augur Refit, Hell, I don't even need. I would need... What? I'm, I'm not even halfway. I'm not even halfway. I'm literally not even halfway. So... Get the Amalgam Cloak? Why? Why would I waste it? I would never use the Amalgam Cloak under any situation. I'm going to at least save it for something I'm actually going to use. I would never use the Amalgam Cloak. I don't have a Jellyfish Constellation skin and still don't. The rate on the return is absolutely ridiculous. Which is wild because that skin 
is one of the only things that actually makes the ISS jelly decent. Like a lot of people will be like, well, Rev, why is your advice to uh, not get the ISS jelly? You have the ISS jelly and you use it. Well, one, I've got the ISS jelly skin. It is one of the only things that makes that ISS jelly semi good. Viceroy, by the way, thank you for the love. This, the bonus for this, makes the ISS jelly a little bit better. 50% to the ability of the ISS jellyfish. So it takes the ship's ability, which my native ability here at tier five is 39% and adds 50 to it. That means I'm actually getting a 90% boost every time. That actually starts to be pretty nice. But you need the skin to fill that value. That's just, oh. Oh, damn. So now the ISS jelly for me is just you get it for jelly brawl. Really the only reason you get it. Hey, Kendra, how you doing? I got the blue projectile through the amalgam refinery, but that's it. And ditto, been pulling it regularly since launch. I think I could get one of the um, projectiles. Let me go see if there's a projectile I'm missing. Let's see, projectile. So I don't, that's not in there. Plasma blast, I think is the one that I could get. I could get plasma blast. So I could go get Plasma Blast, which is the 5% boost to critical damage, which, hey, is actually good. You can't get the Polaron Beam, which I actually would like to have. It's a cool beam, but I'm not spending $100 for it. Can't get the Anti-Proton Beam in there, which is weird that it increases max cargo. Um, I'm five away from the Cardassian Disruptor. Five. Five away from the damn Cardassian Disruptor. So I can get Plasma Blast. How much would Plasma Blast cost me? Because they still have not fixed the picture, by the way. I complained about this months ago. That in the Amalgam Refinery, it shows the wrong picture. So this would cost me... How many shards is the Plasma Blast? Is it 50? I think I could afford the Plasma Blast. Let me go back and look real quick. Let's see. Refits. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Unlock more. Okie dokie. Um, where is it at? Projectiles. We need... Okay, we do need 50. So 50 would be... Come over here. Amalgam. So 1440, that'd be 2880 plus 720, 3600. I don't even have enough for that. I'm literally 46 short. Y'all can't see it because I've got the donation bar up top, but I'm, I'm 46 short. I can't even get the plasma blast if I wanted it. Evil Dragonfly, thank you for signing up to be a cadet for two months. I appreciate you supporting the channel. I really, really do. Hey, Flash Man. So, yeah, it's just... How am I going to get excited about the damn Amalgam Refinery? When this is what I'm experiencing. What skill do you recommend to unlock Kirk once CC reaches 10? I guess a lot of free-to-play are reaching 10 right about now, because I did miss a day. So let's hop into our PC. Wrong button. And... All right, so you see I'm locked here. So you got choices. Over here is a permanent one. The permanent one I like. I like this, especially for our lower level and free-to-play players. This is permanent. This is permanent. So this one's always on, whether you have Kirk active or not. I like that one. Here you're making a choice. Um, I'm not really big on that choices. And then this one, rep gained. There's a couple of strategies to consider. Hey, Usain. There are a couple of strategies to consider with these two sets. So because everybody dual grinds and tries to lock out, the primary idea could be to unlock the one that's going to be your weakest faction. It's like the third one that you're trying to catch up. So like for me, Federation is the one that I work on last which that means that I would need to boost my damage against Klingon hostiles to make it quicker 
for me to go through that process. In theory, honestly, it doesn't really matter. But the one over here, the rep, I probably do want to increase the amount of fed rep for when I get ready to bring my fed up. The second line of thinking is, if you're dual faction grinding, there's always one that is getting less rep than the other. So you could use this to make it to where those are both even. So for me, grinding Romulan and Klingon, because I hunt feds, this means I would actually need to give this to the Klingons so the Klingons can start catching up better. So that's your idea and your true strategy. You're already building 10 free to play? Yeah, I missed one day, so I'm at nine. I'm at nine. I missed a day like a big idiot. No problem, Thomas. That's what I'm here for. I try to answer as many questions as I can. I love answering the community. I love helping the community. I love this game. I love y'all. I'm being mushy mushy, but it's true. And I do. And I don't care. Why is my ship not repaired? 2.3 from Fedlock. Nice, Sam. Which Fedlock? The uh, 10 mil, 1 bill, or 15 bill? Today's milestones for the Leap VP is 163. Oh, nice. So I just need to do my Dom event. Which... I can really eater on this one. Ship XP. Do I have any ships that need it? Manage. Swap ship. Any ships that need XP. Start clicking through. Oh, Sark does. Come on, Sark. Help me finish Domination. nice thank you for telling me that i can actually upgrade mine now make that choice i appreciate you for reminding me of that thank you was doc h messing up gameplay it was still is actually i don't know if they fixed it yet did they fix it it was all right, let's get you upgraded. Yay, I'm now caught up with free to play. Suck it. All right. We will go ahead and uh, start its further upgrades. It still has a repair issue. Nice. Of course it does. All right, so now let's go back into here. Skill tree. Now I will go after and say, I want to increase my Klingon rep. Now remember, you only pick one. I only pick one. But I can't come over here, get my protected cargo upgraded. Answer 25 needed. Uh, officer defense, impulse speed. Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, impulse speed, yummy. Look at that. Wait for the event. I don't know. Probably should have. Oh, well. Remember, I've gotten less on the efficiency train that I used to be on. Simply because I'm just trying to have fun. Yeah, there is one tomorrow. But, oopsie. I can still go to my command center though. I've got a bunch of, um, here. I'll give me some Kirk S SPs to make up for it. Well, if it'll load, there we go. That should help me at least finish the um, SMS. But, I mean, if it's an SLB, I don't really care. I don't know how I feel about SLBs. Go ahead and take it up a level. Check the refinery again. Yeah, so once you hit level 10, by the way, you open up another pull. So I got to pull twice today. What's up, Gray Matter? Are we going to get enough events to finish the We Are the Borg meta? There was enough to finish the We Are Borg meta. I don't know what all events everybody's done, but there was enough for everybody to finish the meta. Cargo. That's, that's not bad. 
more cargo in there. Oh, it actually takes it up pretty good amount. I'll take that. Are they ever going to give out something to those of us who bought the Manus early and struggled through all these months? Honestly, Steve, no idea. No clue. I was one of those people, so I feel for you, but I honestly don't know. Yeah, Hugo already did increase the impulse speed. I already uh, went in the impulse speed. The ticket events count in that Borg event meta? I don't think so. I don't think they did. But I've missed several. So. Get back to the BP and how you just got command center parts. Are you a day behind? Uh, maybe. I'm at 235. At 235. So, where's everybody else at after today? I'm at 235. So, if y'all already at milestone 19, then I missed today. So, most people are at 250. Okay. No big deal. No big deal. Again, my paradigm has really shifted in the game where, yeah, that stuff's good. And I'm not saying it's not, but I don't, I'm not focusing on perfection every day. I'm just not. I'm focusing on fun, making content, and hanging out with y'all. And that's what's fun to me. That's what I'm focused on. And I'm missing days. Like, I'm not completing everything every day. And I honestly am not mad about that. I really am not. So, anyway, I'm going to wrap up. Uh, one thing that I do want to share with y'all is I do have an editor for TikTok. So what I'm going to start doing is sharing like some funny clips, some funny edits on TikTok. We might also start doing some YouTube shorts. Uh, so this is going to be kind of like y'all are going to be like the uh, test bed, I guess I could call y'all. Okay, I'm going to uh, see if I can pull up TikTok and log into it. I'm going to log in. I'm going to share my TikTok. And y'all are going to kind of, because I've got it kind of set to private. But, um, here, select two objects that are the same shape. What is this? Okay, it's two cues. There you go. Confirm. I don't know why I have to verify. It's a normal person. I'm not even running a VPN or anything. <laughs> but what I wanted to do anyway is I wanted to... Uh, share my profile because I'm actually going to start releasing some of this stuff. So if y'all want to come join in, watch that. And we might be adding some more, uh, might be adding some more things to YouTube shorts as well. Haven't decided, haven't decided. So we'll just have to wait and see. The reason being is YouTube shorts is being tested with um, is being tested with all YouTubers and it could affect income in a negative way or a positive way we haven't seen yet so and climb please don't quit the game keep hanging out with us but anyway if y'all come uh, check it out like this video as we're about to wrap up here and y'all come join the discord if you haven't already come follow the channels and Hopefully, y'all have a lot of fun. Uh, the gaming stuff, I think, is going to be a lot of fun. I like gaming stuff. So, appreciate y'all as always. Live long and prosper. Stay safe for the Space Cowboys. Do success me. Catch you on the next one. I'm outing. And enjoy the outro. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house. <laughs>